this tool that you are looking at right here can bypass a lot of devices a lot of recent devices and it supports a lot of cpu types so if you are watching these as someone who is new to software make sure that you watch all my steps because i'm going to show you show you how you can actually use this tool to bypass phones like uh, samsung s23 ultra and a, a lot of recent mobile phones right okay so for you to understand everything you will have to stick to the video then i will show you how everything operates so when you open the tool which i'm going to show you how you can download it later in this video when you open the tool you will have this screen and the first thing that you need to do for the tool to be able to detect any phone that you want to unlock you have to come to the drivers option right here so when you come to the option you will see dr different drivers in which you have to install you can click to install but i prefer you download the latest drivers from my website in which i'm going to show you later also in this video because these ones they are not up to date in which i'm going to post the ones that are up to date in my website also but keep in mind you need to install any of these drivers for example if you want to unlock a phone that uses a mediatek cpu or qualcomm cpu spd cpu you'll have to install the drivers before the tool can detect the phone okay so once you have run the drivers and you'll be like okay everything is good to go you can start using the tool if you click on the mtp section right here you will see that it shows nothing right so for you to unlock a phone in mtp mode you can use this option so this mtp right here is when you connect your phone in mtp mode in normal mode when you just switch on the phone right so for you to use the mtp mode you have to click on mtp bypass here okay so in this section you can bypass phones in mtp mode which means that you just have to switch on your phone maybe you want to bypass frp or enable adb before you can use the other options of the tool to easily bypass in adb mode you can just select what you want to do if you want to open youtube launch youtube in the phone then you can do that if you want to launch play store launch a file manager and all that stuff you can do that connect the phone in mtp mode select the option then click on start if it's to open settings it's going to open the setting if it's to open the adb enable adb debugging then you just click right here and you click then it's going to enable that so the next we have the mediatek option so this is a universal option for all mediatek devices right and you can actually unlock without losing the phone data right here just wipe the maybe you forgot your password then you can actually use this option that says save format to format the phone wipe of your of your password then still keep uh, medias like your pictures and videos and you can also see we have a lot of options right here and all these options right here are very simple to use once you see that the phone that you want to unlock if in case you don't know how to know if the phone that you want to unlock uses an mtk cpu you can just go to google type in the brand of the phone type in the model and type cpu type and they will tell you if it's an mtk cpu so if it's an mtk cpu for example you want to format and factory set frp then you just click right there then you click on start select the option click on start as you can see it will tell you what you have to do you just have to switch off the phone then press and hold the volume up and the volume down then press the uh, and then connect your usb cable so right here it says hold volume up in most cases it will have to be the volume up and the volume down so if you try just the volume up connect and it doesn't detect then try pressing the volume up and the volume down then connect it once you connect it your phone will the your pc will detect the phone in flash mode and the tool will also detect the phone and then yeah everything will be, be done with just one click so that's how you can use any of these options you can check the other options when you get the tool so we have uh, SPD Unisoc CPU, right? So if you come here, you will see the devices that the tool supports. You can see we have a lot of devices right here also. So for you to use this option, you just select the model that you want to unlock or select, yeah, anyone right here. So once you do that, then you come here, then you select any of these options. So you can see you have different options here, right? So for example, if you want to erase FRP, or you want to format the phone and FRP, all you have to do, you click on the option. Once you click on it, you can see that it, it's waiting for the port. And for you to connect the phone, you need to make sure that you also installed 
these drivers that says SPD and units of drivers. So if your PC is running a 64-bit operating system, then here you do that. If it's a 32, then you use it. So when it's here, all you have to do is switch off the phone, press and hold the volume down of the phone, then connect your USB cable. Once you connect it, it's going to detect the phone in the SPD mode. Or if it doesn't detect, then you use the volume up. Press and hold the volume up, then connect. So we have the Qualcomm option, which is very good if in case you know how to operate this option. So this Qualcomm option is a universal option and it also have a specific option for Samsung Samsung phones. You can see Samsung EDL and we have a universal options right here. So these universal options are for Qualcomm devices, which you will need to be in EDL mode. That's what you need to keep in mind. You have to be in EDL mode. And if you don't know how to get into EDL mode, you can always check on YouTube on how to get into EDL mode in the particular device that you have. But to get into EDL mode, the phone must be using a Qualcomm CPU, right? So in these options, you can read the phone's information, erase, FRP in EDL, right? Format, yeah, do a lot of things right here. But that's not the most important options here because some uh, some phones won't work when you use this option. So you see this loader option this is a very important option because with the loader file, if you have the loader file, you will be able to unlock a lot of devices that other tools cannot unlock. So all you have to do, you click right here, loader, and you go to the directory in which I'm going to show you how you can get loader files when I'm showing you how to download this tool later in this video. So I will show you how you can get loader files, even Samsung S23 Ultra loader files. And when you download the loader file, you just extract it on your PC, click right here, loader, then you load the loader file. When you load it, then using any of these options, the, the tool is going to use the loader file to easily use any, any of these options to bypass or format the phone. So we have the, the Samsung EDL right here, which you can click the drop down to select any of the models that you want to select. You understand? Then you click right here. If you click identify, then it's going to show you if the phone is actually connected, if the tool has detected the phone. And you can also click the drop down to select the port. So once you do that, you can easily bypass FROP by clicking this option, right? And if we have a samsung option which you just have to connect your phone in com mode so you just have to switch on your phone then connect switch on your phone then connect your usb cable so when you connect it you can select the port right here you can bypass frp you can uh, change the csc then we also have this other option which it says new method right so when you click on it you can also connect it the same way that you did in that other option then you can enable adb right here so when you enable adb you can do direct frp bypass here you understand so as you can see everything is good you can check all these options so we have a specific option for adb and fast boot so you can see that we have a lot of options right here so you can see adb operations you can see fast boot operations so any of these options you need to have adb debugging enabled in your phone and it can do a universal frp bypass when you have adb enabled in any phone you understand so you can use the other options that I showed you earlier to enable ADB, then use this option to bypass when ADB is enabled. So if you can find out how to get into fastboot mode in the particular device that you want to unlock, then you can use this option, options right here to do anything that you want to do to your phone, like reset FRP and do all that stuff unlock bootloader, which is very important. So we also have the the iPhone option right here. I haven't used this option. And also we have this option. You can use this option to jailbreak iPhones. So if in case you have your iPhone, you want to jailbreak, you can actually do this. But it doesn't support the latest iPhones. You need to keep that in mind. And also we have this option in which you can enable ADB by QR code. So as you can see, we have this option and this option is very easy to use because all you have to do 
you have to get to this option right so when you get to this option this option can help you enable adb by qr code you can see we have three metals we have four metals here right method one method two three and four and all of the metals have different different qr codes which means that if it doesn't work for method one then you try method two and so on you understand so for you to use this option to enable adb so that you can easily bypass all you have to do select the model that you want right here then switch on the phone that you want to bypass for frp this is for frp so when you select it all you have to do is switch on the phone when you are on the welcome screen tap on your screen five to six times and it's going to automatically bring up the qr code in the phone so all you have to do you just have to to scan this code right here and it's going to take you to the uh, wi-fi section you connect to it then it will give you a prompt it will give you a prompt on your screen to enable the adb debugging and all you have to do you have to click on it and allow the, the tool to enable adb debugging in your phone so make sure that you have to to connect your phone through usb cable while doing all this and also we have this other option so once you do that you can check if adb is enabled right here you can bypass frp in safe mode and all that stuff so when once you have the adb enabled you can come back to the adb and fastboot section and uh, yeah bypass your frp using this option for you to get this tool all you have to do go to your browser and you are going to type say it's my unlocking tool so this is all that you are going to type and when you do that you click on save so this is my website so it's my takes.com all you have to do is click on it Okay, so when you click on it, the website is going to load and depending on when you will be watching the video, you can easily find the toll in the first page. But even in case you don't see the toll in this first page, maybe you are watching the, the, the video maybe months after, you can just search here. Okay, and when you search it, you will have the toll. So all you have to do, you click on the toll. And then I will show you the things that you will need to download in this page. So you just have to scroll down. Scroll down. Okay, so I talked about drivers, right? So for you to download these drivers, these are the latest versions of all drivers that you will need. So you can see everything right here. You just have to click and you'll be able to download. So about the loader file that I was talking about in which you have to use in the Qualcomm EDL option, you can see the loader files right here. You can see the files that are supported here. You can just click on any of these links to download the file, the loader file of the phone that you want to unlock. And I'm going to upload more loader files when they are out. Okay, so and to download the tool, you can see the download, download links right here. And once you download the tool, all you have to do, you extract the tool using WinRAR in, in your PC. And then you extract the tool. Let me show you what you have to do. When you extract the tool, you will see that this is the tool folder when you open it. All you have to do, you have to launch the tool from this one that says bad tool the true point truth so you can see that this is the exe and once you click on it it's going to open the tool and you can start using the tools so you can see that's actually good right okay well i'm so just my right here so if in case you want to learn hardware also you can send me a message on whatsapp or buy my courses from the link in the pinned comment or in the video description so thank you see you soon subscribe for more amazing videos